Welcome to Westleaf Public Interviews. How are you? What's that? All right. What's your name? Mojo. Okay. So today I'm going to ask you a series of questions um, that you can answer any way that you like. Some of them will be challenging and others will be sort of like lighthearted. Alright. Alright, cool. Do you believe that there is a God? I don't know. Okay. Do you believe in love at first sight? Um, no. Why not? Because you can lust at first sight. But mm -hmm. actually love, like you can, you can identi strongly identify with somebody like, oh, I fuck with like, oh, it's just something about them, but just actually love at first sight. Like, you look at them, up, like, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in having sex on the first date? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why? If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Okay. Would you marry someone so that they could get their green card? Absolutely not. No? No, hell no. Okay. And um, why not? Because I'm a man. What does that mean? You just don't get your green. You just don't leave with your green card. You leave with your green card. I have my money. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um, do you believe the Earth is round or flat? Shit, I don't know. Does it matter? Not really. Okay. Do you believe black people deserve reparations? After the niggas take a class. <laughs> oh. Okay, what I kind of reparations should still be earned to a certain extent? Like, like, what's the point of getting money to just to fuck it up? Like, if it's supposed to, you know what I'm saying, repair what happened in the past and put us in a better position, then the ones, like, yeah, the mindset ain't gonna change. So, like, the mindset need to be changed. It's not about how much. I don't I know no motherfucker with a good mindset that made only 50K, and I know a million that is fucking up all the time. Your mindset ain't together. It don't matter if you get money or not. Do you believe marriage is beneficial to men in 2023? Absolutely not. Okay, and why is that? Because once you leave your ass, she's going to leave with that. <laughs> Absolutely. It's not. It's too much stuff. It's not like, I mean, independently. Even if you're a traditional man, like, it's not beneficial in the point because you can't. You can't. Can't get pussy whenever you want to get the pussy. You still got. If she say no, no means no, my nigga. So then, you get, like everything that uh, stay at home or what a traditional man would look for in a traditional wife, you can get. You can Amazon, Instacart your groceries. You can call you a little cleaning lady. You know what I'm saying? You can get your meals meal prep. You know, and we, you can have your your your. Dry clean clothes delivered to you. You can you know what I mean? Like, so what, what else? And that's cheaper because if she, if you got a stay at home wife, you get she gotta have a car, and with that car, gotta have a, gotta have a um, car insurance, and with that car insurance, you gotta have gas. Then on top of that, she gotta have a phone. Then she need clothes. She need shoes. She wanna get her hair done. She wanna get her nails done. And you gotta pay. And then you gotta feed her. You know what I'm saying? So then, like, then she gonna want shit outside of that. You know what I mean? So then you gotta take her on vacation because she need a break. So, no, yeah, no, it's not beneficial to me. 